Okay, so I need to talk more about this map as well. These maps are getting really tough. So, uh, yeah, next map is also really tough. Uh, like, since map 14, only tough maps ahead, I think. So, yeah. Uh, so, basically, map name is circles. You see a lot of circles, right? Yeah, there's like, there's like 20 different circular rooms. And... I think all these circular rooms are literally uh, consisting of the same enemy type and the same uh, amount of the same enemy type. That's officers. There are always six officers in these rooms, except this one, where the silver keys, the, the, uh, uh, seven officers in this one. There are a few, uh, there are also these rooms. You can see the pillars, the outside texture, the outside like daylight texture, and there are four of these. They are also almost mirrored, because uh, the secrets in this map are unique and not mirrored. So that's the thing, 
that is not mirrored at all in this map. Secrets are always unique for the, each area. They are not mirroring uh, uh, of the same uh, looking other area, if you know what I mean. So there are these few different rooms. So this is the only circle room with seven officers, right? This starting room, oh man. Yeah, it's a very tough on pistol start. This map on pistol start, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult. Mine up to the section to get up the silver key. Also this ammo. These ammo packs are very needed. Uh, that's why I recommend going to the left and get these ammo packs ASAP. You will need them. Uh, and yeah, the start are four officers, and they go right at you. And these officers can also shoot you from the distance. So yeah, the start is a little tough, but not impossible. Maybe a little luck based, a little bit, yeah, because the officers might take more hits and have just eight pistol bullets. You have to get the bullets from the dead officer ASAP and back out to the elevator and kill the rest of the officers. So yeah. The start is really tough. Up into here, you get this ammo. This room is consisting of eight officers. And yeah, he, here is the silver key. And here are the silver key doors, which are optional, but very, very, very useful uh, later on. Because like I said, the ammo in this map is fairly scarce. You can... Uh, uh, you can... Uh, Lose the ammo really fast, that's what I mean to say. And I wouldn't recommend really using Shagan, maybe, except these two final rooms. Also, this is another Silkova room, which is different. They are not officers, there are six SS in this one. Uh, this is the final room, where we need a gold key, which is right behind the silver key door, right here. So you don't really need to do all of this if you don't want to. Like You cannot just go here and go into the exit. Uh... What else I wanted to say? Uh, you'll see a lot of like mirrored sections if you don't count the unique secrets. Like this is literally the same as this, and this is literally the same as this. Like I say, I don't count the secret areas. Uh, also, these outside uh, areas are mirrored if you look at it. Yeah, they are fairly mirrored, even with uh, with the things uh, like the goods that are in there. Also, this is if you put the cursor here. This is also two mirrored areas. Then this is mirrored, this as well. And in a way, this, this as well. So, like, a lot of mirroring is going on in this map. But there are also unique areas, mainly in this middle section of the map, like here in the middle. Uh, what else I wanted to say? Uh, uh, almost every circular area is the same thing. A wall with a symbol has a cup near it. So don't forget these cups. Uh, as you have seen the run, I forgot one cup right here. So I had to get it. But my goal, uh, time goal was 10 minutes under. And it was 9.47. So I was fine with it. And I didn't bother it again. And this was only my second successful try. My first successful try was... Um, my first unsuccessful try, uh, like, was like 12.30, because I was searching like for a minute and a half for a missing treasure, but that happens, because that's just the first run, first recording after I have the map, uh, after I memorized the map, right? So yeah, uh, the first try is mostly the worst try, where I forget a lot of things, and then on the other tries, I try to remember the things I've missed, so I don't miss them again. So basically, uh, uh, all these circ circular rooms, except uh, some uh, other uh, uh, other ones, like this one where are seven officers, this where are six assets, there are six officers in each one. And the cups near the uh, walls with symbols or flags, always a cup near there. Here, see, here, and uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, also, I would not recommend going from the start right into this section. You can go here. Uh, you can freely go here without getting any of the keys, but I do not recommend uh, going here. You will not have enough ammo to take care of these enemies. 
you really need to get the silver key and get these optional areas. See, these optional areas with a lot of goodies in it. Also, all these outside areas have guards in it. I prefer sniping them from these outside sections. Like, you can snipe guards from here, here. There are a lot of death guards, which are facing the other way. And you can even from distance kill them with one shot. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty neat. And normally these guys always lurk over all these pillar sections. A lot of death guards do. Because there are really a lot of... Uh, Death guards in this uh, outside section map. There are not that many. Uh, I don't think there are that many guards that are like not deaf and they go after you if you shoot uh, a bullet in this map. So yeah, be cautious of these guards. You you can uh, snipe them like from these areas, outside areas. You can even snipe like from this or this up to here. Yeah, you will not catch these guys, like these right here, because these are too far away from uh, here. But you'll get these, uh, most of these uh, guys, and maybe these guys too. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much how I went about this map. Uh, so go here, get these ammo packs, so go to the left first. Uh, get this, sil get the silver key. Get the goodies from these outside areas ASAP. Um, and then, oh, not ASAP, you know, ASAP. <laughs> I'm a speed, I like speedrunning my 100% playthroughs, so yeah, ASAP for me, maybe. But you don't have to hurry if you don't want to, you know, you don't have to do speedruns. So, uh, so yeah, you really need to get into these areas and get the ammo for this, uh, for the second section of the map. And the secrets are unique. They are not mirrored. See, you, has, you see here, right? Here is a door. But here isn't a door in the mirror section. So that's different. You instead go into the secret to reach this section. While you have a door in here, and you can go here freely. But there is this secret chain gun. So, uh... Yeah, Chang'an not recommended on this map, maybe except these two last areas uh, to clear. And uh, like I said, to go, if you get these silver key section optional areas, you can go here or here, clear all of this, all of this except these two areas. Well, you can go here. But I do not recommend really getting these uh, SS until you kill everything else, because, yeah, they can be tough to kill, and if there are uh, other stragglers shooting at you, then it can be uh, quite deadly with these SS around uh, over it as well. So, uh, yeah. Basically, you go here, get the silver key, uh, get these sections, go either here or here, Silver key door, which is right here, is a gold key, right? F few centimeters <laughs> in front of the silver door is a gold key. You can completely ignore all this optional stuff. Go here and use the exit. And also, these secrets are pretty easy to find. Like, these are suspicious looking walls. I would push them even if it was a very blind run. And also, this uh, wall is marked with a symbol, the one up secret. The only two secrets that uh, you might not get at, uh, at all at first, maybe these two, these two. Yeah, these two are the ones you might forget. So yeah, I think I uh, talked a lot about this map already. You know the drill, I hope. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you again later. Bye bye.